Hello, my lovely jelly babes. So, um, Sharon Buchanan lived for the one. Desandria Morton Pusey, sorry if I've said your name wrong, they requested a wear test on the this polish, so that is what this video is about. So this is them, I've literally just completed applying them. By the way, it's coming across quite dark on camera, it is actually a lot nicer shade, um, you see it better sort of outside in natural daylight. So this is the outside in natural daylight. Now I had to do an emergency procedure on this nail. It had cracked right down the side. So I did like the tea bag, um, you know, repair system where you put like glue a tea bag on it. And then obviously I did my nails. So I don't know how long this one's going to last for. So this is day seven. Now this here totally ignore. That was my fault. I was chopping onions and slipped and it, Thankfully, it didn't affect my own natural nails, <laughs> but that's what that is. The um, the uh, emergency surgery seems to be going well. She did have a fracture. It wasn't a full-on break. It was a fracture, but it looks like it's, it's you know, keeping strong. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this is day seven. Now, moving on, this is day 12. Still going strong. Obviously, I've got some uh, regrowth coming through now. This is the other hand and unfortunately I'd had a little chippage there and there. Now I do want to clarify this happened because I was decorating and I don't mean like painting with a paintbrush. I mean putting laminate flooring down and um, putting all my room together which um, hopefully you've seen. If not I'll leave a link to it and yeah it was so frustrating. It was literally the last board going down and obviously with laminate flooring it was right up against the wall and I just didn't bring my like fingers out quick enough and you just caught it and chipped it off. Um, but yeah, but this is like day 17 and it's still going strong. It's not chipped at the bottom or anything. You've got a little bit of wear on the thumb, but that was a thumb that was really short anyway. So I couldn't get like a real good seal on it. Um, so I'm actually really impressed. I think uh, if I hadn't had like that fracture and obviously decorating these would probably still be on. So I'm, I am genuinely impressed with how long these have lasted on my nails. I just want to clarify as well, like with wear tests, like this has lasted like quite a long time on me. It doesn't guarantee it's going to last a long time on you. And I know this because of doing like family's nails, like I've used the exact same polish, obviously done the exact same application process and it's lasted like the full on like two, two weeks um, on one person and literally within two days it chipped off the other person. Um, it just reacts funny. It's very, very strange. But yeah, but it's all in the prep work. You need to make sure that you, you know, you are prepping your nails properly for a gel manicure. So this is what I am using now for my removal of gel polish. And I'm pretty sure I saw it's me, Karen99, use these on Instagram. And I was sort of intrigued to see how well they would work. So I got them. This was what I've used up until now. And I used these for a good few years. And they were, they were fine. But I just thought, like, obviously there is, like, it can dry out quicker because obviously it's not airtight. So I thought these silicon cap things would be better. So I always sort of lightly buff. It looks like I've done it a lot more vigorously because I've sped it up, but I just lightly buff that top layer off to help with removal. So these are real easy to use. You want to sort of bend them back um, before applying them. Now some put the cotton pad in there first. I tend to put the cotton pad on my nail. So this is the acetone that I am using. So I'm just going to get a cotton pad. And... Stick it in the bottle and get um, it filled. You want to like obviously have a, a good generous amount of the acetone. Um, now you just want to be a little bit careful with this because I do you can get like a bit of a like a splash back. Obviously, there's because it kind of like flicks down and obviously it's all squeezing. So just be a little bit careful with that. Uh, I can't remember if this is how you put it on or whether it's meant to be the other way. But anyway, I'm just gonna speed this up now just showing you applying it to the rest of my nail so i think this is the way that you apply it on not the way i did on my thumb which i've turned around so i want to like basically put all this on and what's good is it's like you can go around and do daily jobs even with these on because it's like not big clips on the end so this is 20 minutes later 
and I'm just using a metal cuticle pull up pusher you can use obviously a wooden one um or you can e-file it off it totally well this process would be pointless <laughs> if you were e-filing it off you wouldn't be soaking it but yeah so um I always tend to have it near the end of the, the end of the nail like it always struggles to come off my nails I don't know why um so this part process I am just speeding up so if you do get somewhere it hasn't quite lifted don't try and force it off because you'll damage your nail just put some more acetone on leave it for like another five minutes and it'll come off with ease um and that's kind of what i ended up doing with these i mean i do cut mine down like a fair bit after i finished anyway like i'd got quite a good growth but like i always cut them down because they just break so there's no point trying to go for long nails for me um so this is it all off i've cuticle oiled it could do with filing that down a bit more really so yeah so I hope that this video has been helpful to you. And like I say, like obviously other than the chippage after like 12 days on those of the nails, which was a little bit frustrating, um, they would have lasted really a long time. They'd lasted all on fine on my other hand. So yeah, so I am genuinely impressed with the product um, and it's removed fairly easy as well. So that is it, Jelly Babes. Thank you for requesting this video. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.